Statistical calculations might have introduced you to statistical graphs. Those tasks are based on frequencies, standard deviation, class arrangements, etc. of the data. Now for unsorted data, you can create a bin range that will help you enlist the frequencies without manual observation. Let me walk you through it. Hello there, this is Fariha Tuvi from Excel Demi, your one-stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forum, templates and VBA-related answers. Here we can see 10 students with their marks in exam. Using this data set, we will discuss how to create a bin range in Excel. We will cover three methods for that. The active Excel version here is Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. In our first method, we will insert built-in chart and it will create our bin range automatically let's try it select our data range b4 to c14 go to insert tab and from the charts group click on statistical chart drop down here under histogram choose the first one now let's enlarge it so it's easier for us to follow now right click on anywhere click on format now as we get this extension part within the right side of our screen, click on the bottom axis, which is horizontal axis, which gets us format axis. From the axis options, go to axis options, click on the axis options. Now choose bin width and set it to 5. Select overflow bin and choose 90 and underflow bin to select 20. Enter. This will show us the range of our data. Now let's close the section. Now right click on the bars to select add labels or we can just click on the chart layouts group and from the add chart element drop down choose data labels and select data label to be positioned in anywhere like that. Let's choose outside end. Now let's add our chart title to histogram. Now, clicking on the chart elements, let's add axis titles and the vertical title will be student number and the horizontal axis title will be marks in exam. There we are. Now, we can see that the axis are showing bin ranges automatically. Since we chose 5 as bin width, it's showing us bins in five differences and it starts from 20 and still 90. For our second method, we will use data analysis tool pack. For that, we have created bin range previously and it will be a default range. Now, to use data analysis tool pack, we need to enable it first. Go to data tab and as we can see, there are no groups called analysis, so we need to add it. For that, let's try Alter FT to get Excel options window. Here, click on add-ins category and here, manage Excel add-ins. Go. Now, from the add-ins window, we need to enable this and analysis tool pack will be available to us. We can add this from the developer tab as well. Now, if you don't have developer tab, you can just right click on the ribbon, customize the ribbon. And here you need to put a check mark on your developer tab. Click on OK. Now you should get your developer. Here the add-ins group will get you the Excel add-ins and it will get you the add-ins window. Put a check mark on it. OK. Now if we go to data tab, we can see there is a new group called analysis. And here goes data analysis. If we click on it. We can see many options. Choose histogram. OK. Now input range will be the marks in exam, which is C5 to C14. Bin range is E5 to E14. Now we want output options as chart. Now we want our chart and new table within this worksheet. So we can click on output range and choose G4 for them. OK. 
Now we can see that there are different beam frequency. Let's increase the width here so that it's easier for us to understand. Now if we click on it and go to chart design, let's go to chart layouts group and from the elements drop down, click on data labels and choose outside in as data labels. Now we can see the bin ranges here according to the pre-mentioned bins frequencies according to the marks in exam and the following chart here. Now unlike the first method, we don't need to add chart title or even axis titles. Now let's see what will we do in the third method. In this method, we will learn how to use frequency function to create bin range. For that, we have created bin labels as less than 10 to 11 to 20 and the list goes till 91 to 100. Now we will set bin limit to 10, then 20. Now to extend them till 90, we can just use fill handle till row 13. Now in bin counts, column the first cell or F5, let's use frequency function. Now our data array here will be the marks in exam which is C5 to C14 and bins array will be 10 to 19 which is D5 to D14. Closing parenthesis, enter. Now we can see rest of the cells are autofilled. Now let's select E4 to F14, go to insert tab to insert a chart from the charts group let's click on columns from the 2d column choose the first one let's move it here and extend it like that now we can see that all the values and the frequencies are added according to the numbers here from this methods you can choose any of them according to your convenience you can practice this with the help of the excel file in the description box below let us know if you could do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. You can visit our website exceldemy.com and reach out to our forum for all your VBA or Excel related problems free of cost. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.